Hello, Mary and Girl YouTube fans. This is the Mary Hudson channel, and we have almost, we're almost finished reading the books. So, this is the second to last book. It's called Rainbow Fish and the Sea Monster's Cave. Help! Come quick! The little blue fish was alarmed. His friends were there in a minute. What is it? What's wrong? Look at that bumpy backed fish. He must be sick. He isn't moving. He doesn't answer me. He just groans. Let me through, said the swordfish. She went up to the bumpy backed fish. Can you tell me what's wrong? The bumpy backed fish moaned. My stomach aches. I feel terrible. You need a red... You need red algae, said the swordfish. But the only place where red algae grows is on the other side of the sea monster's cave said the little blue fish. I'll go and I'll go, declared Rainbow Fish. Are you out of your mind? cried the others. That's the most dangerous place in the entire ocean. That's where the rock monster lived and a creature that with a thousand arms to catch you and a five-eyed globe fish. Rainbow Fish trembled. He almost changed his mind, but then he looked at the poor, bumpy back fish laying in the sand. Bravely, he said, I'll go anyway. I'll come with you, cried the little blue fish. That made Rainbow Fish feel better. Quickly, they swam off before they lost their nerve. The sea monster's cave was dark and frightening. The rock walls were steep and jagged. Swim louder, whispered Rainbow Fish. That rock monster has his mouth open to eat us. The cave grew even darker. So the little blue fish cried out, Help! The thousand-armed creature has caught me. Rainbow fish tugged and pulled until his friend slipped out of the monster's slippery arms. That was a close call. Now he was really scared. Rainbow fish, look down. The five-eyed globe fish is watching us, he whispered. The little blue fish shivered. Quick, let's get out of here, he said. And they swam as fast as they could until they finally emerged on the other side of the sea monster's cave. There they saw a big clump of red algae. The two friends picked as much as they could carry, and then they turned to go. Little blue fish hesitated. I can go back through the cave. I'm too. Can't go back through the cave. I'm too scared. Rainbow fish was scared too, but he said, "At least now we know that know what's in there." They looked at each other, gathered their courage, and swam off. Soon they saw the five-eyed go fish. There's something funny about those eyes," said Rainbow fish, and he swam a little closer. Rainbow fish laughed. That isn't a five-eyed globe fish, he said. That's just the lantern from five little lantern fish. Why, they aren't scary at all, said the little blue fish, giggling with relief. They reached the creature with a thousand arms. They looked more closely. Seaweed, they said together and laughed. The rock monsters turned out to be just ordinary, un unafraid to ordinary rocks. And afraid, afraid the two fish swam right by them out of the cave to find their friends. You made it, the other fish cried. Did you see the rock monsters? Did anything try to eat you? Well, I'll tell you everything later, answered the rain answered rainbow fish, but first we have to give this little red algae to the bumpy back fish. The bumpy backed fish nibbled at the algae. Soon he felt better. I don't know how I can thank you. It must have been dreadful to go through that to the cave. We were terribly afraid, Rainbow Fish admitted, but then we looked more closely. The monster disappeared, interrupted the little blue fish and happened. And then the two of them told the story of their journey all and all the terrifying monsters that weren't really monsters at all. The end. We have one more book.